See, when I was a war correspondent, I had this, I got into trouble a lot. I, and I got into prison two or three times, and middle of civil wars. And I remember in South Africa in prison thinking to myself, because those, those sons of bitches were ruthless. They'd just take you to that upstairs window and throw you out, you know. Uh, I remember thinking in this terrible cell, I can't die now. It's impossible for me to die now. I cannot die before Morley dies. Right? So Morley's got to die first. That's the way it is. Right? And this became my kind of uh, mantra in my life, you see. Well, that, there's only one problem with that. That's great. So I stayed alive, and then, but Morley died, which means I'm next. <laughs> so I wrote my memoir then. And a lot of it is taken up with uh, And a lot of it is taken up with Morley. Yeah. It's quite an honest book. Morley and I, in the last 10 years of his life, he, we got very close. When I was a teenager, we, did, well. we didn't speak. I, th I thought he was one of the great jerks of all time as a young man and told him so. When I went off to college, he wouldn't come and say goodbye to me. He, so <laughs> to say that he was disappointed in me would be an understatement. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But we had this wonderful relationship on end. And so it was the right time to do it, yeah. but a strange time to do it, because then when the memoir was over, right. I then had to turn around and think about, in a sense, starting again. Yeah. And yeah. Um, rather than do that uh, in, in fiction, uh, I decided to do something I've always wanted to do, and that is bring together my nonfiction. Right. And the result was so good with the first volume, the response was so fine that I decided, okay, I'll do it all in three volumes. Of which two have appeared. And two have appeared, and then my publisher stepped in and said, wait a minute, this is all well and good for me to bring out your nonfiction, but <coughs> what I really care about is your fiction, right. pal. And uh, I said, right, and got to work. Rocking Anselm in his arms, he was about to tell him that he was a good dog and he shouldn't worry, that he loved him. But then he thought how ludicrous it would be for a grown man to talk out loud to a dog about something so serious as love. And so he just sat in their wetness, holding Anselm even tighter so that Anselm would understand and Anselm would never doubt. In the 60s, two guys came along and said, we want to make you uh, the books editor of the Toronto Telegram and we'll pay you all of this money. And I was flabbergasted and so did it. And then when I lost all those jobs in 1971, 72, I went six years, the phone didn't ring once. And then my old pal Talm Headley came back from New York, started up a Toronto Life. And he said, uh, you know, what have you been doing? I said, nothing, nobody asked me to do anything. And he said, well, I'll give you a column. We'll call it Callahan. You write, call it fiction if you want, or write around town if you want, do whatever the hell you want, and I'll print anything you write. Wow. And out of that came the Black Queen stories. I guess to ask you what you might be working on next isn't relevant, because you say it sort of has to appear before you as this is the well, right Well, I know form. exactly what it is. Actually, you see, because once I retired from teaching, there's nothing to do except write till I die. Well, I can drink a lot and I can go to the track. Those, those but, all work together. But other than that, uh, so uh, the stories are done, mm. and I have rewritten my first novel. I think in July, uh, the way the angel spreads her wings, the Black Queen stories, a kiss is still a kiss, and when things get worse, they're all coming out in a uniform edition. Then the last volume of my journalism, which is called All In, Raise You 5, Raise You 10, All In, will come out in the spring, and I've started to work on the novel that will come out in the fall of 2008, which will be called The Prosecutor. Ideally, what would you, you want to finish this novel? Uh, you, your, your journalism is going to be out. Uh, yeah, then I would do another book of short stories. Right, okay. Hopefully not just that. Well, I'll figure out something. <laughs>